Hey guys, welcome to Tea Time True Crime with Katie and there goes that better. I have no eyebrows. We're not focusing on that right now. What we're focusing on, you guys, is the Atlanta child murders. Now, there are documentaries about this. I have not watched them yet, but I'm on here talking about the case because I just found out about it. And it happened in 1979 to 1981, where 24 to 30 beautiful uh, black young adults and black children have been killed. Yeah, apparently one man killed all these beautiful people. Wayne Williams was only 24 years old when he was picked up by the police. Now, he has been convicted of two murders, but has been accused and speculated that he killed all these victims here. I don't, don't like to say victims because they didn't want to be victims. It's just, it's so hard to believe. I just, here we go, is that better? Oh yeah, there you go, there's more. Wow. People do believe that the case is solved today and Wayne Williams has been in prison for over 40 years. Now, there is speculation now that he didn't do it. He may have been involved with the two crimes he was in, but pe people are saying, please do not rope him with all these murders. That's just lazy, you know? According to sources. One of these boys was watching the news with his mother. And the mother goes, son, I don't want you talking to no strangers. And the boy replied, mom, I don't talk to any strangers. The next day, when the little boy was going to get a loaf of bread, we found his body a year later. I've also just been emailed. There is a Mind Hunter episode, season two, about Wayne Williams. I'm definitely gonna catch on to that. Probably gonna watch it. Because I'm sorry, you guys, I just cannot believe this 24-year-old in a, a span of two years, oh, I squeaked, just killed all these people. I'm sorry, I just don't. Do you guys want to hear the conspiracy theories about it? Number one, it was a government project gone wrong. Number two, it was a secret society of the Ku Klux Klan. Again, the other theories are just about money, power, and corruption. On a happy note, though, the mayor of Atlanta reopened the case in 2019. So I'm so excited what's coming next. Thank you for watching, you guys. And remember, you're doing better than you think.